Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a digital multimeter. And yeah, usually you have this big knob to turn to do all the settings. This one is full LCD. It also has a temperature meter. And in the back there is also a light. And uh, just like, let's have a look what it all uh, can do. It can even do up to 10 amps, I see, five or 600 volts. And it's from uh, A Neng, I think. And it is the 620A smart multimeter. It comes in a white label box. So probably there are, it is also uh, rebranded. Uh, so it will be available in uh, many other brands, but just, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look what it can do. Um, yeah, and it 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 says here through RMS, six thousand counts. No, oh, sounds very promising. I'm not sure if it was in a bubble envelope or they just sent it in a garbage bag as they usually do. I think this one came from uh, Banggood. I already have it for a month, I think, and I never properly tried it. I was just interested about this. But then I got distracted with a lot of other things. So it is full LCD. Well, it's well protected. Uh, two manuals. One in Chinese and one, luckily, in English. And on the box and on the multimeter, it says smart. And here it is intelligent. So that must be super smart and intelligent. So let's have a look. Uh, well, they need to be batteries. I think I already put them myself. Well, as you can see, it is a rubber, a rubber guarding thing. I'm not sure you can still drop it, but you need to put two triple A's. I think I did that. I need to check. I don't know if I put them myself. Or not, so I'll just have a quick look if it's a weird brand. Let's see, yeah, the cheap codec. So I put this uh, myself, so it did not come with batteries. But you need two of those little ones, the triple A's. And as you can see, there is some light here in the back. So I think if you're working in your uh, meters, I you say your fuse box. That is very convenient to have some light. I like the huge display. Let's uh, switch it on. Wow, oh, it's super clear. Yeah, I need to position it in a way that's clear for you. And by default, it is in auto mode. True RMS, 6,000 counts, 25 degrees, and it is indeed kind of hot. I think you can switch over there is a hold option there is a light there is a selection and there is an ncv and if we put the selection what will happen you can see i think yeah i'm not that convinced by the light maybe like this yeah so now it's manual it is set to ohms so we can put our calibrator so that is nice it is in diet mode. It is, oh, capacitance it can do. And this is live or not live. So we need to see, I think you can put one of the cables then just in the socket. And this is Celsius degrees. And that means it is 77 here. So you can imagine it's a bit hot. And it is back in auto mode. How does the light work? Let me switch this off a little bit. Yeah, it's better. If we switch on the light, it is a long push. And then the light is on. So if you are in the dark, you can see, but also the light in the display is on. So you can really read in a dark uh, environment I like that. And what else we have? It comes with probes. 
how it even comes with the temperature probe. That I did not expect. Maybe that is that uh, NVT setting. I think we call it an NTC. So there is a temperature probe. That is kind of cool. And well, these don't look bad at all. Look at this. What are those security ones? And they even have protection on the pin. Ooh, they are sharp, so that's good. I like that. Not bad at all. Rated for a thousand volts, so even if half of, the, half of it is true, you are still safe. Okay, I quickly got some of my calibrators. I have the LBO2A. Very precise for current and voltage mode. I have my older, this is the LBO8, I think. The LBO2G, okay, LBO2G. Uh, it's less precise, but just uh, to play with it. I have a decade, and I have also my LCR reference box. Uh, if I compared it to the Keatley, it was uh, nearly spot on, so that was good. And we have the voltage reference, so we can do a lot of tests already. Um, I found out that this, uh, I was wrong about the temperature. This uh, NCV is non-contact voltage detection. So that's actually cool, because if, let me switch it on. It is a long push. No, longer. Now it says EF, I don't know what that means, but now it is in non-contact non voltage mode and it's making noise, so and that's correct because this cable is plugged in. So that's nice, that works actually quite good. Okay, now let's see how auto is this auto mode. Of course, the current is split from all the other functions. Makes sense. Well, let me just short circuit it. It goes into beep mode. And to the ohms, clack, and it goes back. There is a little relay inside, I can hear the click. Uh, I have here my super simple decade. Now in auto mode, zero ohms. Well, let me put 5k. Mm, yes, that's 5k. Cool. Can I do 500 ohms? 500 ohms. Okay. And do I have very high resistance in MERC? Let me do 5 max. Mm, yes. And I'm just leaving it in auto mode just to see what happens. Okay, that is nice. That was quick. I have here my LCR. Put it in resistors. I think it should be around 180. <laughs> it is perfect 180. It should be 179.991. Yeah, cool. Okay, that is, uh, can it also automatically detect capacitors? Let me check. No, it will do resistance. Yeah, okay, so you need to switch that manual. That makes sense, because how will it now? Let me put my voltage reference. This should be 2.5 volts. Well, 2.498, that is close. This is almost five. Yeah, it's a little bit low, but it is just switched on. 7.5 volts. Not bad at all. Yeah. 
what will it do with current? Let me switch this over. Um, and let me, I don't use this too much, but it is very nice. So it's, it's already at four milliamps, so that is perfect. Will it detect? No. So you really need to switch it over. So the auto detect is purely for this one. My source is on. Ah, it just needs a little bit more to find out that it needs to measure amps. It is now in 10 amp mode. How does it? Oh, it was just too low. Now this is the maximum, 24 milliamps. Let me check what is the lowest. In the 10 amp, you have the resolution of 0 .10, 10 milliamps. Well, that is this. And you also have a 6,000 milliamp. And then you have a 1 milliamp resolution. It does say it needs uh, at least 20 milliamps, so that is why it didn't register it. I have it now in uh, capacitors mode, and it says it is around 51 nanofarads, 51 and a bit. And here it said it should be almost 50, so that's not bad because you also have all your cables that also act a little bit. But that's always difficult with this simple cables. If you have proper calvings, you'll probably be, be closer to the actual value. So that's not uh, bad at all. And then there is also this live wire testing. And then you just need one plug, you put it in the positive, you switch it over, not to ohms, not to resistors, but you switch it to live. Then you just get your cable. And you're just going to test which one is my live wire. Is this one live? No. This one live? No. Look, it lights up red. This is the live wire. It is very, very visible. I like it. Okay, we have it in auto mode. And then let's see what it will do. If I really measure, well, one pin is already doing weird things, but let me see what we measure. Yes, look, it's fully red, 232.8 volts, and it's very close to a 50 hertz. Ah, that is about right. Okay, that is quite nice. I like when the whole display just lights up red because ah, it's a live wire, it's a live wire. So that is actually quite cool. And uh, now I wonder with the temperature because they, they give you this temperature sensor. And uh, I wonder what the temperature range is. It says here minus 40 degrees Celsius to up to a thousand. And in, in Fahrenheit, it would be minus 40 up to 1832 so that is uh and it's one co percent uh, correct it says so i like to try that it doesn't say where you need to put your cables it says you need to plug the red in the temperature one but as you can see it doesn't say anything but it, it should be this one because this is the current so here here you have a big shunt so it should probably be here so let me just get that. And then I can try to put my solar iron. Yeah, it will now measure the resistance that we will also probably see change. So let me just switch that over to temperature mode. Yes, it does work. Okay, I'm switching on the solar iron. So it will heat from zero, or 25. And I will just be holding it like this. And then it should go quickly up. Yes, there it goes already. 
I should be able to resist up to a thousand. I'm not sure what this is set to. I'm using magna stats, and it is a fixed temperature, but I don't I don't remember which one. But it should probably go up to 300, 350. It heats quite fast. I like the sensor also is responding so fast. Need to be careful not to burn my sponge also, but let's just wait. Yeah, clock. So it's 300. The well, the magnet start. And then it shoots up, and then it probably cools down again, and then it will. Okay, 330 then. Clock. Yeah, so it is. Uh, clock. So the magnet start is. Uh, Doing this around 3.30, cool. And now it cools quickly. The sensor is very fast. That is nice. Look at that. Wow, I like it responds that fast. Okay, now I'm gonna do some more current uh, testing. I have here my, my really resistors load. This is now to the amp setting. So let's see what happens. Uh, again, it becomes completely red. I like it. And it says now it's like 1300 milliamps. And here it confirms. You can put a little bit more load. 2.6, 2.6, a little bit more load. 3.9, 3.8, and some extra load, 5.1. It does that very nicely. Now we can maybe, it should go up to 6. Yeah, this is what we have on this power supply that works. So I'm actually surprised because it is around uh, 25 dollars uh, euros. And um, yeah, the automatic mode seems to work fine, except for the capacitance, of course, because yeah, that is always uh, a bit difficult to detect because maybe it's just too loose wires or you're measuring a very small capacitor. So that makes sense. Uh, I like the display goes red in this uh, live detecting mode and also if your current is above a certain value it becomes completely red. That is nice. You have the contactless voltage detection. That is nice. And I was really amazed by this temperature sensor how fast it is. And that is really good if you want to see fast temperature changes. And uh, so that's a very nice plus. And also the rubber protection. I think it can help if you if you drop it. So uh, all in all, I'm a bit impressed. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.